Hello. Hi. Welcome. Today, I'm going to be trying out the world's best cup of coffee. If you don't know already, I'm currently living in Melbourne, Australia, which is the coffee capital of the entire world. And it's considered to have the world's best coffee. However, I have not tried their coffee here yet, so this will be my very first time. All the coffee I've seen here looks so good. Well, it at least looks good for coffee. It's all perfectly made, presented really well. The visual appearance of the coffee is 10 times better than what I'm used to seeing at America at a typical Starbucks or cafe. Now, before I get into talking too much about coffee, making you think I'm some sort of coffee connoisseur, let me get this straight. I'm not. In fact, I hate coffee. I think it's absolutely disgusting. The taste of it wants to make me gag. I don't like coffee. I don't like coffee flavored anything. When I was younger, I used to not only just hate coffee, but I used to hate the smell of it. Just the smell of coffee walking into a Starbucks made me want to gag. However, as I've matured, I'm now able to stand and actually slightly enjoy the smell of coffee. The taste of it, still just not my thing. However, there is still hope for me. So, one of my friends and former boss, Dan Ribeiro, the assistant coach of the Illinois men's gymnastics team, also hates coffee. Hates it just as much as me. And he's come to Australia a couple times, and when he was here, he's tried the coffee, and he did not just like it, he fell in love with it. In fact, he liked the coffee so much, he was just like any typical coffee connoisseur he was having it every single morning while he was here. So, what does that mean? There is still hope for me. Maybe I will find a, co a cup of coffee that I enjoy. So that brings me to where I'm at right now. This lovely little alleyway. No, just kidding. I have done some research I've looked around to see what is the best cup of coffee. Where is the best coffee coffee I can get in Melbourne? And as you might expect, everybody does have their own favorite little coffee shop. However, this place where I'm about to go to seems to be consistently ranked on a lot of websites as one of the top places where you can get coffee. It is called Brothers Baba Boom, and it's located right on the corner up here. And so that explains why I'm right now here in this little alleyway. Check this out. This is where I'm recording this video right now in between these two cars because I'm in the center of the city and there's literally nowhere else to record so this is the only place I can record. This is what I'm recording on. Literally a little electrical outlet that stands out and then just coincidentally there happened to be some random potted trees right here so I think I got pretty lucky. Now I'm gonna be getting two different types of coffee from this place. One is gonna be a lighter coffee, something that doesn't have quite as strong of a coffee taste. Something like a cappuccino or a mocha. Um, I don't actually know if a mocha is considered a coffee. I think it is, but I feel like maybe some strong coffee lovers would disagree with me. So comment down below if you think a mocha is considered a type of coffee. Or at least go comment down, you know, if you're a coffee person or what, what your favorite type of coffee is. Let's get a little discussion going. If you are more of a coffee person, then you'll definitely agree with the second one that I'm gonna get, which is gonna be a long black. I've done my research actually. As of yesterday, I knew absolutely Absolutely nothing about coffees. Couldn't tell you the difference between a latte, an espresso, a mocha, a cappuccino. Really, literally didn't knew, knew absolutely nothing about coffees. But I've done my research and I'm now a little bit more informed. So let's go in there and get two hopefully delicious cups of coffee. Alright guys, I think I went a little bit overboard. You can tell I got three instead of two. Just couldn't make up my mind and it all looks so good. No, just kidding. Didn't look good. I just really wanted to try the mocha because that's the one I think I might like the most. But I also don't know, it's not really like a coffee, so I also wanted to try something a little bit stronger and then something really strong. So, alright, first impression. First impression is that it smells disgusting. I know I just said I don't mind the smell of coffee and I don't. It smelled great in there. Not great, but like, I'm fine with that coffee smell. It doesn't bother me, but one of the- oh. Yeah, these two, these two smell fine. This one, <laughs> it is like, woo, like, uh, I bet that's the long black. All right, let's go try this. We're gonna start with the mocha. I still cannot believe I bought three of something I don't even like. Like, you don't like something, like, oh, let's just get three of it. Anyways, let's try the visual test. It's enough to go, oh, it's still, it's still pretty pretty. For something that they literally put a lid on, I mean, it doesn't look bad. I've seen some prettier coffees in my life, and I'd say that the ones that they were given out there were definitely a little nicer, but, hey, let's give it a try. Ugh, that's the light one? <laughs> Not a good start. So, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ah! Why do people try to acquire a taste of this? Oh my God, all right. By the way, after tasting this, 100% agree that mochas are still considered coffee. There's still a sh very strong coffee taste in there. <laughs> so, Jesus. I will say, uh, I understand how people like these. It's not for me, but I can see how people like this. What I don't understand is why you would want to like this. Why you would try to acquire a taste for this. Because one, 
coffee people are so dependent on their damn coffee. Like, have you ever seen, they're like freaking alcoholics with their coffee. It's like, oh my god, it's 10 a.m. and I've only had one cup of coffee. <laughs> just kidding, I'm sorry if that's you. But seriously, no, there's so many people I know who are like, oh my god, I need like three cups of coffee just so I can get out of bed in the morning. It's like, people are so dependent. I do not want to be dependent on something. So I'm honestly kind of glad that I didn't like the mocha because if I did, I really would not want to be super dependent on it. Plus, you guys know what I'm like. You think I need any more caffeine? <sighs> All right. Honestly, each sip, it gets a little bit better, which is scary, so we're just gonna stop right now. Next up, the cappuccino. This one, another beautiful presentation. Look at that. Oh, tilt the camera down. I'm surprised. I actually like this way more than the mocha. I think there's less of a coffee flavor in here. Is this the cappuccino? Yeah, it is. Look, right there, cappuccino. All right, I can work with this. This one, this is a surprise. I could 100% see myself starting to like these. Like, it's not something I love, but it's like, I'm fine with it, and I could see, you know, if I had these maybe for a couple days, really getting addicted to these. I'm actually really excited, because I'm always so embarrassed. If I'm ever with friends, you know, going to get coffee, meeting someone for like some sort of meeting or something, you know, it's pretty common to meet at a coffee shop, and every time everyone's like, oh, I'll order a whatever, and I'm like, could I have a hot chocolate? Yeah, like, it's so embarrassing. I feel like a little kid. Like half the time the hot chocolates are on the kids menu. You're literally ordering from the kids menu. So embarrassing to go to a coffee shop. Like this video if you are also embarrassed to go to coffee shops because you hate coffee. Ooh, more spill. But anyways, I'm so excited because now when I'm in Australia and I'm looking to go to a coffee shop, I know I can order myself a cappuccino and fit in. Mm -hmm. We'll be cool. We'll be cool. <gasps> oh, what am I doing? Anyways, Melbourne cappuccino, you get my stamp of approval. Oh, God. <coughs> Why? Why do I do this? I'm doing this for you. I want you to know that. I would never try this on my own. Dear Lord Jesus, please make this not taste as bad as it smells. <coughs> Ugh. Let's do a little visual test. That guy just looked at me so weird. Anyways, look at that. Doesn't look good. Just looks like any type of coffee. How could anyone like this? Uh, I think I'd rather sip on straight vodka than sip on this. This is so nasty. How do people drink this? Could you, like, uh, waking out of bed and drinking this? I'll, I'll give it to you. This would wake me up. If someone forced this down my throat, I'd wake up. Uh, I still have the taste in my mouth. Uh, <laughs> get it away from me. Uh, that's better. Anyways, all right, that's it for the coffees. I hope that you enjoyed my misery. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm happy I did this because I like that mocha. No, not the mocha, the, what was that? Not latte, cappuccino. I like the cap, but it's not so good I really wanna finish it. So if you wanna see me give these three coffees to some homeless people, keep on watching. Otherwise, peace, see you in the next video. Would you like a coffee? That one's a little bit. There you go, enjoy. Would you like a coffee, sir? You got it? Yeah, enjoy it. <laughs> How's it going? Did you like a coffee? Oh, 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 you're there you go. Thank you. Enjoy. All right, guys, that's it. But I still have that disgusting taste from that long black in my mouth still. So I'm about to go to Macca's real quick, get an Eminem McFlurry to get that shit out of my mouth.